Are you looking to plan your next vacation to Jamaica? Whether you visit Montego Bay, Kingston, Ochos Rios, or Negril, Jamaica has some wonderful experiences to offer. If you're interested in learning more about things to know before your next va Jamaican vacation, stay tuned. Welcome back to the Resort Life channel. The goal of this channel is to provide you with good quality, up-to-date information on resort style vacation planning in the US, Mexico, Caribbean, and the world. To support this channel, I invite you to like this video and subscribe. This way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Without for any further ado, let's get started. Jamaica is an island located in the West Indies, approximately 1,800 miles southeast from the United States. English is the official language of Jamaica, although Jamaican Patwa is widely spoken. This language was developed during the slave trade. Jamaica's name is derived from the Arawak language, spoken by what are believed to be the original inhabitants of the island. In Arawak, Jamaica means the land of wood and water, and you will find plenty of both while visiting. The following tips may help enhance your Jamaican experience. My first piece of advice is to don't be in a hurry. If you live in the United States or Europe, people tend to operate on efficiency, not in Jamaica. Jamaicans are very relaxed with time. Allow extra time for everything that you do so that you don't get frustrated. When I visited Negril and stayed in at Hedonism 2, a resort that I will surely tell you about more about um, later, what I thought would be a 90 minute bus ride took two and a half hours. It used to irritate me when a shuttle left 20 or 30 minutes after it was scheduled or an event such as the show started late. Once I understood this cultural difference, difference and allowed for it, life on my Jamaican vacation became much more um, enjoyable. Downtime is a good time to meet a new friend, to maybe enjoy some hors d'oeuvres or have a second glass of wine. The truth is, if I lived on a beautiful island with an amazing sun all year long, I wouldn't want to be in a hurry to do anything either. My next tip to enhance your experience is to research the places that you may want to stay. Different areas in Jamaica have very different vibes. For example, Negril is known for its party atmosphere. Here you will find jamming settings like Rick's Cafe where you can literally jump off a cliff into the ocean. Ochos Rios is known for the adventure activities. During my last visit to in um, Ochos Rios, I climbed Dunn Rivers Falls, a beautiful waterfall. I fell off and I broke my shoulder, but it was still a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. Montego Bay is more of a mixed area with lots of beaches, family resorts, and restaurants. Each resort has a different vibe as well. Some resorts have multiple sections that are organized for different age groups, um, such as an adults only section or a family section. Thinking through your vacation goals and choosing a resort that meet those needs will really help enhance your vacation experience. Next, I would encourage you to get off the resort and explore the island. There is so much to see. Plenty of beautiful beaches everywhere you go. Enjoy the music that is played everywhere, including dance hall, gospel, and their signature reggae music. Speaking of reggae, reggae is Jamaica's most recognizable music genre. It is a mix of distinct musical styles, the bass and offbeat rhythm guitar of Rocksteady with folk music um, called in and Minto and a touch of funk influence from the United States. You'll literally hear it everywhere. Enjoying Jamaica is enhanced with good preparation before you even leave home. For example, purchase items such as bug spray, water shoes, sunblock, over-the-counter medications, warm and cool weather clothing, and toiletries before you come. These items are available, but they can be much more expensive in the Caribbean than you will likely find at home. Jamaica is busiest during um, January through March, and in July and August, they're the hottest months. Hurricane season runs from July to November, so keep these facts in mind as you make your plans. 4G cellular service is mostly everywhere, and most places use the United States electrical system for plugs um, for all your electronic goods. We will do an entire video dedicated to food, but for now I'd like to say that Jamaican food is mostly identifiable by the jerk spice that's usually used to marinate meat, such as the jerk chicken, but it can be added to almost anything. 
side dishes include things like rice and peas, what many people would call mixed rice and red beans, or veg, which is a type of coleslaw, cocoa bread. Other local delicacies include a key, which looks like scrambled eggs, but it's really a, a fruit with saltfish added, bread food, sorrel and jackfruit, Scotchies, an eatery location located in Montego Bay, is world-renowned as the best place to try Jamaican cuisine. Use caution when using the sauce that comes with the dishes there, as it's made from scotch, um, scotch bonnet peppers, which can be up to 140 times hotter than a jalapeno. Other Jamaican favorites include things like oxtails, curry goat, festival um, fried cornbread, potato corn and pumpkin pudding, the signature red stripe beer, and teen grapefruit soda. Navigating the world of finances is one of the top irritants that vacationers report when visiting Jamaica. The next few tips may help you avoid the pitfalls of spending money in Jamaica. In Jamaica, both the Jamaican and the US dollar is accepted. Try to operate in Jamaican dollars, if possible, to avoid challenges with the, with the exchange rate. Let your bank know that you're traveling before you leave home. This will help avoid reports of suspicious activity on your account. Shopping is usually available from 9 to 5, and most shops are closed on Sunday. So take this into account when you're making excursion plans on your resort. People in, mar in the market and on sales on the beach can be pushy and can't even be received by vacationers as irritating. Have a plan to invite them to move on. Both on the resort and in the markets, people are selling lots of stuff that many of us may not find to be the best quality, and it might even be overpriced. I have found that when I'm not interested in making a purchase, the best thing to do is to not look at the salesperson. When you're in the market, don't look the sales merchant in the eyes when you're shopping. This is received as a nonverbal sign that you are ready to purchase and you will get approached. This may even um, be interpreted by Americans as aggressive sales tactics when tourists are unaware of this nonverbal communication pattern. When staying on the resort, do not lose your wristband. Resorts may charge you up to $100 or more to replace it to mitigate the potential loss risk from someone else potentially using that lost wristband. Getting to Jamaica doesn't seem to be a big challenge for most people. Many of us arrive via cruise ship or we fly into one of the three airports, Norman Manley in Kingston, Sangster in Montego Bay, and Ian Fleming in Ocha's Reels. Montego Bay seems to be the most um, popular airport to fly into. Getting around Jamaica once on land is a bit more challenging. Jamaicans use a British style of driving on the left side of the road. For many drivers who come from the US, this could be dangerous. Additional safety hazard includes lots of bumper to bumper traffic and animals such as goats and cows wandering, especially on mountain roads. The best way to get around are local buses, private buses, or private drivers. A private driver, which typically doesn't cost a whole lot in Jamaica, would have the added benefit of recommending tourist-friendly places for you to visit. Traveling anywhere in the world requires a certain amount of common sense and awareness of your surroundings. Jamaica is no different. Always being aware of who you are with and maintaining control, especially with alcohol, will help you keep the state of mind to make good decisions. Following are a few additional safety tips when traveling in Jamaica. Know where you are going and how you plan to get there when leaving the resort, especially at night. Hiring a driver is helpful to direct you to places that are safe and friendly for tourists. When walking around Jamaica, wearing a huge backpack could make you a target for crime, as people maybe think you're carrying valuables. It is important to note that marijuana, while often associated with Jamaica, is not completely legal in the country. In 2015, the island nation took its first steps toward legalization by decriminalizing the possession of small quantities of marijuana by its citizens. There is still a fine for being in possession without a medical exemption, and under no circumstances should someone attempt to transport marijuana into or out of the country. 
Don't expect help from the police for petty crimes. The police in Jamaica are underpaid and short-staffed and put little effort into what they consider small crimes, such as theft from tourists. One final piece of advice. When people visit Jamaica, it's very easy to fall into the practice of mimicking their verbal tone. When people mimic Jamaican tones and gestures, most people are gracious enough not to say anything. But during personal conversations that I've had with staff and locals that I've met during my travels, it is very offensive. Please think twice before re repeating the classic yo man that visitors often say. Thank you for watching this episode of the Resort Life Channel. Don't forget about our upcoming first channel giveaway, an MLVLC travel pillow. It is made with 100% memory foam, has an eye cover, earplugs, and a nice carrying case. To be eligible to win this prize, you must first subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share this video on Facebook. Our drawing will be held on March 31st. A nice prize you will enjoy using once we are all able to start traveling again. The next video will feature activities to do off of the resort in Jamaica. I hope that you found these travel tips to Jamaica helpful. Please, um, in the comments below, tell me what helpful advice would you offer anyone traveling to Jamaica? Until we're able to meet poolside, blessings.